Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to cover Automator AI from Automation Anywhere. Uh, there are multiple capabilities that are clubbed together as a part of Automator AI offering. In this video, I'll let you know about what is Automator AI, what are the capabilities of Automator AI, why you need Automator AI, and how to access Automator AI capabilities. So uh, as part of Automator AI, these are the features that are that you get co-pilot for automators, suggest next actions and autopilot. And there is there is one more like generative recorder, which we will also see. What is Automator AI? Automator AI is a generative AI feature that's a collection of intelligent on-demand automation features that are embedded within Automation Anywhere platform. So as you can see here, Automator AI is a built-in feature directly into Automation Anywhere platform and is available on demand to both citizen and professional developers to build their automations using power of generative AI. This is like having a AI assistant that understand what you want to automate and then help you build that. So why, why you need Automator AI? That would be a valid, very valid question to ask, right? Uh, when whenever you are learning or exploring any new capability, it's always wise to ask why do you need that? Automator AI uses Gen AI to create enterprise grade automations. It is built right into the platform so that you can access it whenever you need. And why you need is it fosters automation development. It empowers both citizen developer as well as professional developers like pro developers. For example, if you don't know um, coding and you are a fan of a low code tool, right? You can also leverage automated AI features. It, it will help you fast in your development. Uh, it will boost your productivity. Then scalability and flexibility is obviously there. These are the few of the reasons I think why you might be using automated AI. These are the capabilities that are available within Automator AI, Autopilot, Generative Recorder, Copilot for Automators, Suggest Next Action. So this is what I was talking about, Generative Recorder, apart from the three which you were seeing in that screenshot, right? So Autopilot, right? Autopilot lets you, you provide a BPMN diagram, BPMN file, where you design a flow diagram like you use Visio or any other tool to draw a as is process or to be process flow diagram for your automation. Similarly, while gathering the requirement, you will create a BPMN diagram. If you give that diagram to automation anywhere, autopilot, it will transform that diagram into a process flow into a skeleton of a bot. It will create a process in a process composer It will create a task bots for you. Then we have generative recorder. Generative recorder is like it's an extra capability uh, given to your normal recorder where you have a fallback mechanism in case something changes on your web page. So it can dynamically adapt and build your resilient automation. Most of the cases what happens when you do a UI automation, uh, whenever there is a change in the UI screen, the element changes its position or whatsoever. Uh, at that time, uh, UI automations that uses recorder or recorder capture command it's prone to failure right for that this leverages gen ai and automates dynamic web pages with more reliability so you can use this this capability or this feature of automator AI. we have copilot for automators that's where the productivity increases right you can just key in prompt what you want copilot to create for you so you can definitely transform your ideas you can key in in a form of a prompt and then it will generate a board code for you. It will generate a flow, board flow for you. It can generate a code in Taskbot. When I say code, it's like all the commands that are needed for your automation. It can it can also work and create you create the process flow for you. So again, we'll see all these deep dives in specific videos. Otherwise, it will be very lengthy topic if I cover e all of them in a single video so i'll be creating a dedicated dedicated video on these topics then we have suggest next action let's say you are you're picking up any one of the action uh, let's say open excel so it can predict what are the next possible actions you might be using in your bot so it will suggest it will give you a list of suggestions yeah, that for example you have used let's say open excel command you might be interested in close excel command or 
uh, some other command like save or something like that so it will suggest you relevant actions to what you have been using now the question is how to access automator ai there are three things first you need an automator ai license then you need a developer licenses then you need roles and permissions using automator ai licenses like you need a valid automator ai platform based license so if you don't have an enterprise license then also it's fine you you should have automator ai platform based license if you have got this license these features are enabled for you on top of that you need a developer license when i say developer license it's a bot creator license or a citizen developer license that is available as part of your control room you can enable it from there and then uh, in roles and permission you need a basic or a bot developer role in case you have created any custom role for your developers then that would be your custom role right uh, where you will be un enabling these permissions in in these specific roles these these are the system generated roles a basic and a bot developer these are system generated roles in case you are working with some custom roles for your coe and you have uh, created uh, custom roles for your developers then that is your that would be your role which where you can enable these features go open these open one of these roles and then go to the bottom of that role and permissions and you can just click uh, you can find automator ai as a header and then you can check all these uh, three options copilot for automators suggest next section and autopilot there's one more setting if you go to admin section of your control room and in admin section you have a setting called automator there you can enable autopilot and copilot for everyone thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found this helpful if you did please like share and hit the bell icon for more ai and automation related stuff see you in the next one thank you so much